Yo, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Butcher House type beat in FL Studio. Uh, but before this video starts, I would appreciate if you stream my Shoegaze account real quick. <laughs> One listen on my Spotify, we do a whole lot, I'm trying to hit 10k monthlies. Uh, you don't even have to like it, I would just appreciate if you just spent 5 seconds and listen to one song on my Spotify. But yeah, anyway, stop wasting enough time, let's just get right into the tutorial. So, first thing I did is I opened up Serum, and I grabbed this lead, I'm a center lead. Uh, shout out to Apollon, he's the one that sent this to me, but this is what it looks like. You could copy the settings if you want, here are the effects. Yeah, so I drew this. I'm into the scale of F sharp minor. Uh, I suggest using minor for some Terry type beats. Some of his uh, beats are in major, but I, I prefer minor for Butcher House because it's more darker tone. But this is the lead I drew. So yeah, I put a Valhalla room on this, and that's all, uh, all I put on it. And then I layered this lead with another lead, a uh, hall lead, also sent by Apollyon. Uh, you could copy this. And it's just the same lead, just copy and paste it. Now one thing I did with this is I added a reverb and a delay with the time 2. It makes it sound about 50% with this does because it makes the lead sound a lot bigger. So if you ever need to make your lead bigger, just uh, do what I did here. And it'll make it sound a lot bigger, like you can compare it before, after. Um, yeah, so after that I added these strings. I uh, used Nexus, it's a, it's a preset, Vinyl Strings 3. And I drew this pattern, it's just uh, sustained chords. Intensity, uh, reverb, and then I layered this with a cemetery lead. This is out of my Lava Drum Kit V6. The link is in the description if you want to buy it. Um, I used cemetery lead here, and then I went to the mixer and I went to presets instrument and I threw the cemetery lead on here. And this is what it sounds like. Now, all together is what the melody sounds like. Actually, one last thing is uh, on the master. I also have a master preset on my drum kit, and I just used a Rainbow Bridge Remaster. It's just good for uh, filling up space, makes it sound more distorted. Um, but I use Ample Metal Hot Razor as well, just another layer. Just following the bass. And uh, the bass is just a uh, simple Reese out of my drum kit. Um, and all together is what it sounds like. Now let's get right into the sauce. So I use an 808. Um, this is the 808 pattern I drew. I'm gonna just hold it. And when you're going for a cemetery type B, you want the bounce to be kind of weird. Kind of like not normal bounce. On this 808, uh, it's really just an EQ boosting the lows. This is just a Cemetery 4 808, 808 on my drum kit. Um, yeah, that's the 808. I added a hi hat, it's just a simple two step. Now, if you want some sauce with a hi hat, you could add a stereo and answer, it just makes the hi hat wider. And then open hats. Butcher House kick, um, literally sample of the cemetery song, so it sounds like. Now with the kick, I like to make it super fast like this, and there's also a variation in the pattern. This one, I did some triplets and shit, so. gotta add the final sauce. Now this is important. You need to add this. You know, gotta have the butcher house screaming there. Beat. 
I'll uh, talk about the organization real quick, or the whatever you call it, structure. So, for the intro, I just have one lead playing. It kind of follows the same structure as Bobby Yaga, so I like the way that song just like the build up to it. And then it drops with all the instruments playing, just a few missing. And I play that for eight bars, and then it drops into the drop, and I add the lead. But it hits harder. But anyways, that's the full tutorial. If you want to join my Discord, link in bio. Meet some new artists who are also autistic, as you probably are autistic as well since you're watching this. And also, um, check out my shit, link in bio. Thank you for watching, appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.